I've heard mm -hmm. that it's very important right now to use like something like Docker or Kubernetes or these kind of things. I mean, um, I, I just want to know how, how often do you use them in your normal life? That, or is that, it like they're, they're cool but not that use or is, are they very common? Um, they're very common. The the thing is, you don't like like okay like with Docker. Docker is cool because uh, you can very easily deploy this stuff. So let's say you as a data scientist, you create your 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 Python scripts, and you deploy them inside a Docker container. Then you just uh, you we just switch out the Docker container and let let let's say Airflow let run let Airflow flow schedule the Docker container and that runs, and we just no we we don't need to care about any of the of uh of compatibilities and so on just switch out the docker container so this is it's very very common um kubernetes i would say is is not that super common um of course a lot of people use it but um when when you run into the Kubernetes world, you usually then run into the or when you need it, you usually have bigger systems. You have you need more processing power. It doesn't. It, it no longer works that you're that you're running your uh, your jobs on smaller smaller systems or, or or enterprise grade systems. You need clusters and you need you need big hardware and so on. Um, but usually you don't you don't really start with that. You start with a with a small like with a, with a simple uh, Docker container, you deploy it, and uh, at some point, when you get more customers, when you get more more traffic, you you are going to see that you're going to run into resource problems, and then you maybe set up something like like a Kubernetes cluster. Mm -hmm.